for your word. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 20, upon seeing the ten cities, the huge crowds that Jesus had just come from, Jerusalem, the ten cities. Upon seeing the huge crowds, Jesus climbed up a hill. He sat down, and his disciples went over to him. He taught as follows. Happy spiritually are the financially poor, because theirs is heaven's realm. Happy are those who mourn, because they will be encouraged. Happy are those who are not angry or prone to temper, because they will inherit the earth. Happy are those who hunger and thirst to be just, because they will have their fill. Happy are the merciful, because they will obtain mercy. Happy are those with purified minds, because they will see God. Happy are the peacemakers, because they will be called God's children. Happy are those who bear the wounds of persecution for the sake of justice, because theirs is heaven's realm. Happy are you whenever they heap insults on you and persecute you and tell all kinds of evil lies about you because of me. The Lord is saying, when they come against you, it's because of me. Yes. Father God, we praise you and thank you for your word. In verse 12, he said, be very happy. And shout happily because you have a huge reward in the heavenly places. Yes. They also persecuted the prophets who lived before your time. Yes. You are the salt that flavors the earth. But if the salt becomes tasteless, how will it get its flavor back? It's good for nothing but to be thrown into the garbage and to end up being trampled under people's feet. You are the light to light up the world. Yes. A city on the top of a hill can't be hidden. And who puts a bucket over a light? Instead, they put a light somewhere where it will shine on everything in the house. See to it that your light shines, that people see the good things you do, and they will realize that the reason is God, your Father, in the heavenly places. Don't think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. No way. I came to complete them, not to destroy them. Let me make this clear that while the sky and the earth are still here, not one tiny letter or even a part of the letter will disappear from the law. Not until it all has been completed. A person who breaks even the tiniest little one of these commandments and teaches people to break them will be insignificant in heaven's realm. Yeah. On the other hand, the person who keeps the commandments and teaches them to others will be important in heaven's realm. I'm telling you that unless you are far more fair-minded than Bible scholars and the Pharisees, there is no way you will enter heaven's realm. Father God, I ask you to have mercy on us today. Have mercy on us, Father God. I lift up every truck driver. I lift up every car driver. I lift up every professional. I lift up every four-wheeler driver. I lift up every 18-wheeler driver. Father God, I ask you to have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy, Father God. You are the only one that can make this mess clean again. We ask that your spirit infiltrate this atmosphere. Father God, that you have your way in every man, woman, and child. And Father God, that your spirit perforate and penetrate hard hearts. Yeah. Father God, I ask that you send your spirit now, the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of holiness. Father God, that we would be on our faces, we would be on our knees, we would be on our backs, wherever we have to be, that we would repent and turn from our own wicked ways. Yeah. For Father God, you said, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will hear them from heaven, and I will heal their land. Father God, we're asking you to have mercy on us, because this country has sinned against you. We've committed idolatry against you. And Father God, we have only sinned against you. Father God, have mercy on us. I stand in the gap, and I, rep I repent. 
for my brothers and sisters, for my ancestors. And Father God, I ask you to have mercy on all of us, not yes. just the ones that call out to Jesus, but all of us. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. And Father God, let your word be heard to the four corners of this world, above in the heavenlies, beneath in the earth, to the north, south, east, and west. I thank you, Father, for every professional driver. I thank you for grace. I thank you for protection. I thank you for the nine happies in Matthew chapter 5, the Beatitudes from the Sermon on the Mount, where King James said, blessed are you, blessed are you, blessed are you. I say, happy is the man or the woman. And Father God, according to your word, let your will be done. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. And may the very God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is Yahushua Hamashiach, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And I leave you with this. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Washes white as snow. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. And Lord, I thank you that as the drivers are washing their windows, Father, that your blood will cleanse. Your blood will cleanse the windshields of their eyes, the hearts in their chest. And Father God, that you would be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen.